Hey everyone, welcome back to a fun-filled day of Chantecaille. So today I'm going to do a full face of Chantecaille minus the brows, hence why they're already on, and I'll have everything that's not Chantecaille that I've used down below. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then keep on watching. But before we go, comment like subscribe it really does help my channel grow it really does help my channel grow helps youtube push my content out there and i couldn't appreciate it more i just have the best community here and i've just you know really been sitting down and thinking about it like i'm so blessed but let me get let me not get all mushy and stuff and let's get to it so i wanted to make sure that i came on here barefaced for several reasons. So as you guys know, and I could try to find a picture, and if I find it, I'll pop it up here, of how bad my hyperpigmentation was. So I did try the Dr. Dennis Gross exfoliating wipes, and those really worked, but they were really expensive. And I felt like if I stopped using it, I stopped like, seeing results even if i used a uh, niacinamide or any other lightening ingredients if that makes sense so i wanted to incorporate a skincare routine with things that i use daily i don't want to be exfoliating wipe using exfoliating wipes daily so this is just an honorable mention um Thank you so much, Shantikai. They did gift me a bunch of samples and I, I'm still using them. I'm going on week three, but you can see, a, so this is a current breakout. So that's why they're a little brighter and red, but all of this old hyperpigmentation is really lightening up. And the main things I'm really loving right now are the cleanser. And I'll have everything I mentioned in regards to skincare down below. But I will do a more in-depth skincare routine once I finish trying the products for four to six weeks. I'm continuously taking weekly photos. But the cleanser, the exfoliating cream, this is the Stress Repair Concentrate. I'm, I'm focusing that on the under eye and I haven't had any dryness under the eyes. And I'm not a fan of the BioLifting Serum, the regular one, but I am oily. So they sent me the BioLifting Serum, the oil free, and it looks like so. And this is working beautifully. It, I just can't. I can't so I will have a follow-up on that stuff but I really did just want because I usually spot conceal and come on here it is something that I've been struggling with um, just here in the past less than a year so I've been a little self-conscious about it but just seeing the progress come through I'm ecstatic I'm ecstatic so let's get into a full face of chance guy so I don't have um, any brow products, so I did already do my brows. I did, so just because you're oily doesn't mean you can't glow, honey. We can glow. It's just, at the end of the day, you want it to look like a luminous, healthy glow versus I just ran through a waterfall of oil. Um, so I did prime with the oil-free BioLifting Serum. I did put the Stress Repair Concentrate under my eyes and it looks like so. And that is all I have, oh no. And my rose in my water. So it looks a little foggy because I did get a sample of the Radiance Elixir. And although I didn't like it on my face, I did attend a Shantikai masterclass where um, they mentioned that putting the Radiance Elixir in your rose water is a good way to diffuse it, but still get that glow. So I did do that as well. And that's why it's not clear and it looks a little foggy, but it's beautiful. 
So to start, I do have some samples of the concealer and this is in shade three. And this is, oh, there you go, shade three. And this is the Real Skin Eye and Face Stick. So I'll pop a picture somewhere up here. So I've been trying this and I haven't quite gone to get the full size because when I tried it under my on my under eye, I was experiencing a lot of dryness. And then in watching other content creators, they were saying how much they love it. And then I realized it's not the product. I'm not hydrating on my under eye sufficiently. So we are going to give this a try today. So I'm gonna go in with my Real Techniques uh, concealer brush. This is what I always use to spot conceal. And a little trick, if you have, so I have, not only do I have hyperpigmentation, thanks to um, my oily skin, I do have enlarged pores. So if you have oily skin, I want to say I learned this trick from Wayne Goss a long time ago because I've been following him um, on YouTube for a long time. If you go in circles in multiple way directions, now if you're dry skin, um, you may want to exfoliate before you do this if you have large pores. Um, but if you're oily, you just go in circles over your large pores and it in different directions, clockwise and counterclockwise, and it is going to start filling those pores. That's already great coverage and it minimized the pores. So if you see there, you can still see them. They're not gonna go away, but compared to this side, you definitely see the difference. So that's just a little trick. So that is the spot concealing. It did really good. Now I'm not expecting a NARS soft matte concealer um, or Boeing traditional concealer type of coverage when working with a line like Chantecaille. Chantecaille is very embrace your beauty, but enhance it flawlessly yet naturally. And we don't always want a full face of full coverage. So I am doing the concealer before I'm going in with the foundation. And I will say that already looks like beautiful coverage I'm not worried if it's even because we're gonna go over we're gonna go over it with the um with the foundation. So as we go along, I will definitely let you know if I've tried it before um or if it's going to be a new product that I'm trying. So this is the Shantakai Future Skin, and this is in the shade cream. So this does have a 12-month shelf life. It's no animal testing, no parabens, and fragrance free. So it comes like so. It does come with this little plastic on top of it, which I highly suggest you keep on it. Um, just because it'll keep it from drying out. But this is the consistency. It's, it's like a gel cream like consistency. So I have tried this once and I really enjoyed it. It was the day I was going to attend the Chantecai, um Masterclass. Oh, I kind of grabbed a lot. So I'm spreading that with my BK Beauty 101 brush. 
and I think I grabbed too much, but we shall see. If you see me looking this direction, I do have my mirror over here. So I did swipe it on in swiping motions. And now that it's drying a tad, I am doing more of a pouncing. And I saw when I used it last, um, it is buildable. It's just a flawless, natural finish. I do know they recently came out with the Future Skin Cushion, which I am very interested in. And I really want to give that a try. I do, I believe it was recommended by Shantikai. If you want a additional coverage, it goes very well with this one. So if you're interested in the cushion, you can always add this underneath and go over it with the cushion. Let me know if you're interested in me picking up the cushion and reviewing that for you guys or just testing it out in different ways by itself with, with this one underneath. I do know suffering from hyperpigmentation and hormonal acne is very challenging. It definitely will test your confidence, your self-esteem, but at the end of the day, we're human, things happen. And I'm okay with it. It was pretty rough at first, just because I've never, I've always had great skin. I never had acne as a teenager, anything. Um, I never had acne in my pregnancies, nothing. It, it just happened and it's okay. So I will say as I was putting it on, it felt so cooling, so nice. Even though I used a brush and it has that gel-like consistency, it did not leave like those brush strokes nobody likes. I don't feel I have to go over it with a beauty blender. And with this consistency, I don't think I would wanna use a beauty blender. I feel like the beauty blender will suck a lot of this product just right up. So I'm really enjoying this. So it does have like a natural finish, but it does have a little luminosity, if you can see that. But it doesn't look oily and ugly and it'll wear nice. But as we go on, we'll try to mattify it just a little bit um, so we can control the oils as they seep through throughout the day. So next, this was gifted to me by Shanta Kai. This is Le Camouflage Stylo Anti-Fatigue Corrector Pen. So it looks like so, and this is also in the shade three. So Shanta Kai does not pump air into their products. So when you do receive this, you will have to click quite a bit uh, before you get the product to the tip. So don't think it's broken. If you invest in this, it's not broken. I did go ahead and like do all that pumping before filming, but this is new to me. I have not used it. So that's how the product comes out. So I want to lighten. Right here and I've never used this product so I don't know if a little goes a long way but we shall see and, oh there must have been a lot in there and I kind of got a lot there so we'll put some here and this is like a flat concealer brush so I'm just going to work that in I will say, although it is shade three, 
I thought it would be um, the same shade as the one I used before I put on the foundation, but this is more has more of a brightening effect. It is very light in coverage. The other one I tried, which is the Real Stick I Am Face Stick, that one is more of a, like a pot concealer consistency, where this is a very light and airy coverage and consistency. It is creamy and light but I do like the brightening effect it's bringing to the under eye. You don't need, even if you have dark under eyes like myself, you don't need to pile on the product to lighten up the area. The more product you put, the higher your chances of it looking cakey. So I'm just tapping that in, letting it melt in. So because I am oily, we're going to, before that creases, we're going to go ahead and set everything. So next we're gonna go in with the Perfect Blur Finishing Powder from the Hummingbird Collection. This is stunning. Like I didn't even wanna touch it. It does have a 30 month shelf life. It's just beautiful. Look at this packaging. The colors are so vibrant and orange is my favorite color. It's not a color I like to wear, but it's a color that when I look at, it just gets, it makes me so happy. I just love orange. So the product looks like so, that detail, that embossing. It's just beautiful. So I'm gonna go in with my La Mer face brush and I'm just going to buff that everywhere. And then I'm going to look up and tap that in the under eye and keep buffing that all over. This is very blurring. It's very flawless. I really like how it has that blurring, mattifying effect, but you still have some luminosity. And you can see that. It's just beautiful. I'm so excited. I was so excited to get my hands on this. Next, this is also new to me. I did purchase this. So the only things that were gifted were the skincare um, samples, the pen, and although I already purchased the mascara, one was gifted to me. So I did want to make that clear. The video is not sponsored though. Pachantica is really great. They knew I was new to the brand. They knew there were things I would like to try before I invested. And I really fell in love with it very quickly. And I very quickly invested. <laughs> this is the Radiance Gel Bronzer. It looks like so. A sheer fluid gel bronzer delivers a light reflecting radiance and sculpting effect. It enhances natural color with a luminous glow. This long wear formula contains our raspberry stem cells for antioxidant protection. Interesting. So this does have a 12 month shelf life and it is 20 mil 0.67 ounces. So I didn't even look that up look this up on how I should use this. So I'm going to put some in the back of my hand 
and it looks like so. It's a little runny, but not too runny. So I wanted to try, I wanted to try the Goa bronzer, um, but it looks like it has, I mean, it looks like it has more of a red undertone. So I thought this wouldn't, but I do see some red undertone in this. And I think <laughs> I went a little heavy handed. Again, this product is new to me. So I wasn't prepared. And that was the tiniest little bit. So I'm gonna work it into the back of my hand. and then work it around and try to just buff that out. So although the Goa looks beautiful, I'm not sure I would use it as a go-to for me because of the red undertone. I kind of like the warm undertones because when I bronze, I go for what I look like when I tan, which is fairly dark. So I put the tiniest little bit back there. I am going to really work that into my brush before I do this side. Even though I may have to go a little heavy handed to try to even it out. but it does give a very, it is easy blendable. It gives a very beautiful sheen, but it's not glittery or shiny. And if you are new to my channel, I love to bronze. It is one of my favorite products to use. Um, it's foundation and bronzer are just like my go-to. So I did add a tiny bit more so I can do the jawline. And then I always bring it down right here just cause I feel it makes my neck look lifted. So let me take a closer look and see what I think. I really like the bronzer. If it wasn't as red, like now it doesn't look as red, it looks more warm. But when it was more packed on, it had more of that red hue. If it didn't have that, I love bronzer so much, I would have definitely piled on more. But when it's sheared out, that's what it looks like. It's beautiful. I definitely like the bronzer. I just love bronzer. Next, I'm going to go in with the blush. I did purchase this. This is the Chic Shade in the shade Joy, which is the horse. I did use this once. So... The packaging looks like so. It's not flat. <laughs> so kind of, there you go, you can see. So this is the horse shade. It is a pink shade. It does, so all of these blushes do come with an overspray. So I did use it once, but you can see the shimmery overspray around the edges down here and up here. So I am gonna go in with my refer number five. That's so pretty. I tend not to like 
that was very pigmented. I forgot how pigmented it was because it was about a month or so ago that I last tried it for the first time and I haven't tried it since. But I do prefer the blush once the overspray is gone. Um, just because I don't like um, a blush that's too shimmery. So if you just keep in mind that it is an overspray. So if you don't want to use all your overspray and you enjoy the overspray, try to top, tap off a little off to the side. So you get to use your overspray multiple times before it is gone. This one had like a very pinky overspray. I believe the B has a gold overspray. But it really is a beautiful pink. And I'm going to have to diffuse these edges out a little bit just for my liking. I think we can go over it with the blur powder one more time. So there is the blush. It is beautiful. And the blush does have a 36 month shelf life. And it is 2.5 grams or 0 0.08 ounces. So I am gonna go back in just because this side where I went in initially with the blush is a little stark on that pink like well. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of that blur powder. There you go. Especially, I don't like rough edges on my blush up here. That is a beautiful blush. So next I did purchase this. This is the Chantecai Eclat Brilliant Face Powder. So you can either use this as a glowy face powder all over. This packaging, you guys, and the presentation, it's just beautiful. I did purchase this from Space NK. The Space NK had a sale, so I was able to pick this up for $24, which is a steal. So it is does have like a gold highlighter hue. I've seen people very lightly go all over the face with this. So let me diffuse it out just so, and it gives a nice, just beautiful glow, but I would use it as a highlighter. And then here is the swatch, not diffused, it is just gold. So I'm going to go in with my Refer 4, lightly tap and dust off. Because I am oily, I don't bring my highlighter all the way down into the start of my cheekbone. I bring it from here up. It's just a personal, personal preference. I do like to highlight above the brow to just give it a lifted look. Very natural, very beautiful. I don't feel it emphasizes any texture. Put a tad on the cupid's bow. And that's so pretty. So next, we're going to take a look. So I am going to have a dedicated video to all of the Chantecaille Luminescent Eyeshades. 
just for the sake of not having this video too, too long, but I do have them all. So I wanted to do a video where I'm swatching them dry and wet. And I'll probably film that right after this for you guys. The only Chantecaille luminescent eye shade that I've tried is Mare. And I did try it on a live on Yachty Beauty's channel. So this is the shade. It is a very beautiful sea foam color. It's just stunning. And the packaging, does, doesn't that make you want to go to the beach? Like now, it's just beautiful. So all of my friends, when the luminescent eye shades came out, said I would love zebra. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to give zebra a try. So the luminescent eye shades do have an 18 month shelf life. And this is zebra here. The print, the detail is just stunning. And these are the same 2.5 grams or 0 0.08 ounces. I love a rose goldy pink, if you can't tell. Let me prime my lids and I'll be right back. So I did prime my lids with the Master Eye Prep and Set in the shade Medium by Makeup by Mario. I've really been enjoying that. And I really want to try the Vizzy Art one, which I have. So I am just going to do a one and done. And again, this is with the shade Zebra. That's very subtle, very beautiful. I'm going to try wetting it with the rose water just to see the opacity that we get. Oh, that rose water smells so good. And there you go. You can definitely see a difference. So I did this outer half wet, this inner half dry. And I am just bringing that upward for one and done. Very simple everyday eye look. And I think all these shades will be beautiful for one and done. So let me do the other eyes. We can move on to mascara. Okay, both eyes are done. I do not have a Chantecaille eyeliner. So I did tight line up here with the one size busty brown and then I smudged it out with a brush. So let's go ahead and put on some mascara. So the mascara's typical shelf life, it does have a six month shelf life. This is the one I purchased, but I was gifted one. I haven't used it enough to know the benefits, whether it has all the benefits it claims to have. Oh, I just did a boo-boo. I have only used it once. I really enjoy it. It is more of what, for my preferences, what I would consider an everyday mascara. It It is very lengthening and it does have properties that are very good for the health of your lashes. It doesn't provide me the volume I like for a more glam bam look, for, but for every day, absolutely. So the, here you can see it with mascara and without mascara. Okay, so I did the other lashes off camera as well as my lips because those, my lip products are not Chantecaille. So I do have 
a Shantikai lip product. I just don't think it will tie in for this look on a Sunday morning. This is the Shantikai Lip Crystal, and this one is in the shade Rose Quartz. It does come in this gold reflective packaging. And you guys, this bullet is so beautiful. Look at this bullet. And it does have the shine. That's why I said it is definitely not a Sunday morning look. I love the color. It's very rose goldy, but it does have that shimmer. That is a very evening look. I absolutely love it. This does have an 18 month shelf life. That's it, you guys. I will keep playing with these. I will give you my thoughts, but so far, I am really liking all of it. The mascara, again, it's more of a everyday look versus a glam evening look. The blurring powder is perfection. I really like the gel bronzer. I'm gonna keep playing with it and see if I can pile it on as much as I like without having that red hue. The blush is a very natural blush. And you see how we're luminous, not flat matte, even though we, I'm oily skin. And I think it's going to wear beautifully just because it's not a very emollient feel. It's just a very natural glow feel. I will leave either a pinned comment or leave comments in the description box on how this wore. Again, it is Sunday morning. It is currently 10.01. So I think I could give it a good go for the whole day. Thank you all so much for coming to hang out with me today. Again, I'd appreciate if you subscribe and hit that notification bell for future uploads. Until next time, don't forget, we are all perfectly imperfect. Bye.